What up, guys? This is Kibo Guys back here again with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade the Xbox app on Android. Unfortunately, Xbox totally revamped their application a few months ago and they got rid of a ton of features that most achievement hunters use, including the achievement feature, the party or voice chat feature the clubs feature, and then finally the redeem a code feature. I really wanted to put this video out a couple months ago when this first occurred. However, I really trusted Xbox to update the app promptly and add all of these features because these are some important features for Xbox players, but they have been slacking. It's been a few months and we still don't have an achievement feature. Xbox really took a few steps backwards with this move and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get back to the old version that includes the achievement feature and all of the other features that I mentioned. This is the old version right here. As you can see, I can look at my achievements, I can redeem a code, I can access the clubs, all sorts of stuff. Some of you may not be familiar with the clubs feature, but this feature is important to me because I have a club on Xbox called the Chivo Clan Club. Shouts out to everybody in the club. We actually just hit 500 members. If you haven't already, search Chivo Clan in the club portion of Xbox and I'll make sure to accept it. Other than that, um, as I mentioned before, one of the most popular features in the Xbox app is to redeem a code via the store. And again, they took that away. So let's go ahead and get started on how to do this. Again, this is only for Android. First thing you want to do is Google Aptoid. A-P-T-O-I-D-E. Now, once you get to the website, you want to click download. It's right there in the front. It's going to give you a warning. You want to press OK. It's totally safe to download Aptoid. It's the most popular third-party application market. What you want to do is press open with package installer and that's going to install the application. You want to click install. You may have to enable downloading apps from unknown sources for the Chrome app. Anyhow, once it's installed, I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade the Xbox app. So we're going to go ahead and open up Aptoid. Once you have Aptoid open, what you want to do is go to the search bar and we're going to search Xbox. After you search Xbox, you want to make sure to select the Xbox app and not the Xbox beta app. Once you select the Xbox app, you want to go to other versions. It's just under install, just below it on the right hand side. So click other versions and what you want to do is download the most downloaded version. You'll know it's the right version because it has thousands of downloads compared to hundreds for the other versions. It's 2002.0229.0010. This is the version that you want to have all of the old features. What you want to do is click install. You want to click allow. And it may pop up with a pop up. Just press the X on the upper right hand corner of the screen to skip the ad. And once it's installed, we should be good to go. You may get a notification saying you need to enable installing apps from an unknown source. They actually have this setting per application now. So you want to press allow from source. This is going to allow Aptoid to install apps on your phone. So we're going to click install and it's going to install that specific version of the Xbox app. Let's see if it installed the right version. First you have to sign in. After I signed in, as you can see, we are back to the old Xbox app that has all of the features that we are used to. Let's just double check. Go to the achievement feature because we all know that is the most important feature in the app. I really don't know why they would get rid of it. Okay, so before we go, what you want to do is go to the normal app store. You want to search Xbox and you want to click the options on the upper right hand screen and make sure that auto update is not checked. After that, you want to go into the settings for the Google Play Store. Once you get into the settings for the Play Store, you want to press auto update apps and make sure that you select don't auto update apps. If you don't set this up, it will automatically update your app to the brand new version. Other than that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. If we just hit 20 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including Tim G84, AOJ, Blackbird, and Kegger101. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.